Welcome back to HTC Recharge Day 2. We are in the middle of the semi-final stage. We just saw Trump advance to the finals and we are awaiting to see who will claim that second spot against him. It's going to be either Nuguri or Gara. Oh man, and, uh, we, I mean, already have one HTC player in the final. Yeah, that's true. Look at that. Um, most of the HTC players were quickly knocked out by the by the rest, by the non-HTC scrubs, basically. Yeah, um, I will just uh, kindly agree with you. Yep, yep. And uh, but Trump, uh, the lone HTC man, goes through all the brackets, makes it all the way to the finals, and uh, awaits his competitor. It's going to be either Nuguri or Gara. Uh, two extremely talented players that we've seen, uh, you know, some very amazing stuff from so far. Again, we mentioned that uh, Gara missed some lethal with uh, like a 42 damage light spawn after mind controlling and playing a pyromancer against a Grim Patron Warriors War Song Commander. A very obvious. So, so yeah. Lethal. So so yeah, Gara's Gara's just not at the top of his game right now, guys. Yeah, not in not top, top form, top. and uh, you know, playing some sub. <laughs> Subsequent decks and uh, support decks, actually, like the Flame Waker, who would bring that to the tournament? Yeah. In all seriousness, these players have been playing extraordinarily well, and uh, I think uh, I think everyone deserves to be exactly where they are in the tournament standings as they stand. Um, for uh, for this match coming up, Gar's got Hunter, Mage, Priest. Nagori's got Hunter, Warlock, Warrior. Nagori, the last player with uh, the Dream Team, the Hunter, Warlock, Warrior. Not yes. not too well so far. Well, um, Nuguri is doing pretty well in the tournament, mm -hmm. even though that this lineup actually got defeated many times. Uh, and uh, this will be an interesting clash because Gara brought those those weird decks, like um, his own decks, Flame Waker with some twist and a Priest and the Hunter with a lot of changes as well. You know what's interesting now that I think about it? I think out of all the classes brought to this tournament, the highest win rate is probably Priest because the two players playing Priest were Gara and Dog. And they've made it pretty far, and neither have had any trouble really grabbing a win with that deck so far. Yeah, one hundred percent win rate for priest. Because is it Dog... actually one hundred percent? Well, Dog won with the priest, even though he lost the match. So I think it is. Yeah. Wow, that is pretty nuts. Well, uh, the players have locked in. It's going to be priest versus uh, warrior. Nuguri is playing a uh, grim patron, for I remember, right? Uh, yes, that a Grim Patron with uh, Gromash Hellscream, which is his favorite card, and mm -hmm. he's seen some success with the card as well. So, um, Priest versus Grim Patron, we've seen that before, um, with the Miss Lethal that you mentioned. Gara uh, still won that game, by the way. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's about the matchup? Like, uh, last time we, we were seeing the matchup, we actually lost a couple of turns. Uh, I think we ended up at turn four being shown first and nothing was going on mm -hmm. all right well nothing's gonna go on here nothing like gara can choose to heal his face or the warrior's face or to end the turn so many minions in his hand <laughs> i like i like the pause though well you do want to show that you maybe have something and then you can consider a heal yeah but gara could just be like thinking about what he wants to eat tonight that's possible. Mm -hmm. Or what he uh, will do with all the money that he's going to win. That's true. Actually, if you win right now, you will be in the money because the first uh, three places are paid. So this will be a very important match uh, for Nugori, I believe. Uh, for Gara, it's, uh, you know, he's been there in the top four many times and he won a lot of money playing Hearthstone. But Nugori, this, this is his match. I mean, this he wants it. to win. Yeah. So. Um, it's a very important tournament for all the players, of course, but uh, for those that haven't really seen, you know, um, the light, the limelight, I think they call it. Yeah, the for those guys, it's uh, it's like you know, the Showtime stuff to see uh, see the stars and do well and win a tournament and have people like be interested. Splendor. In yeah, yeah, that stuff. Yeah, Nogori hasn't seen that yet. While uh, I think the uh, the other players in the tournament have. So it would be a really big thing for him. All right, so uh, back to Gara here. At 2-4, he finally got some minions, but 
I think this is a pretty good play uh, just to power word shield it. Just yeah. oh, you mean like power word shield the gnomish inventor so that you have uh, you steal it next turn? Or... Yeah, I mean it mostly gets countered by the cruel task or an inner rage. But if you play as a cruel task or inner rage, is it really that bad? Normally you want to save Power Word Shield for Wild Pyromancer, but that's usually a combo that doesn't really work against that, the Grim Patron. I think you don't have to really force yourself into that um, that early as the Priest. I don't know if he's running... Oh man, that Shadow Madness here would be re really nice. Um, is there a way to actually do a better job here? You want to kill all uh, all patrons, both of them, and Pyromancer is definitely not doing that. Must consider. You will have six points of mana. Mm. You need one more mana to really make a sweet play. What will be that? It would be like coin, then play Pyromancer, then Shadow Madness, the 3-3, three, three, which will put the other Grim Patron on one. Oh no, that would Then you spawn a patron. Yeah, yeah, I know what you want. You want to clear the board and get the, um, the patron. You want, you want the bonus patrons, man. But yeah, I don't yeah. think it's possible. You definitely so. should go for that if that's possible, but not this time. Uh, I think Gara is just going through the motions to see if there's any clever stuff that's uh, possible, but it really doesn't seem like it. Well, last time he missed lethal, so this time he might want to take his time to figure out the stuff, mm -hmm. but uh, that was definitely the best. Like, but that's really, really bad if you think about Nogori's position. I mean, he just used Grim Patron and Inner Rage against the Priest and had both of those cards taken up by one. And they did nothing. They did absolutely that's nothing. True. That's true. Um, I think most of those games versus Priest, they're kind of like attrition war. Like, you will want to push some damage. Priest will mostly be able to counter your stuff. And then you mm -hmm. try to find a frauding opening uh, when the minions are there. So it seems like you're losing, but you might actually win with frauding. So I think the Gori should just focus on drawing cards, which more or less he does. Yeah. He doesn't have a weapon, uh, which is super important right now. Uh, he's double battle rage, and he can't draw cards. Uh, well, he can draw one. He can draw three here. Oh, yeah, that, then it's good. Um, but it will be good if he's damaged. Then he has uh, another way to, to draw cards. Not bad. Yeah, there is a Tori Sun, and he has Frodding and Patron. Um, well, he has the. the if, if much stuff survives, he can maybe uh, Battle Rage and then uh, Emperor Tharson. But it doesn't seem that's going to be the case. I think this board is getting. Getting killed. So for Gara, Gara is really focused on this. Like he's just looking at the board, looking at those cards. I think Priest is. Oh, I think it's team. obvious. I think you you light the Naru yourself. Um, you play the Northshire. You coin out the Emperor Tharson. You make the attacks, then you heal yourself with a circle heal. The players suggested look really powerful. But okay. with this, he can still draw a lot of cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a good board. Um, he has a lot of options that's anyway. Still. So for Nogori, he will be looking for a war song and um, just getting a, a good Tori Sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, he goes for the Light of Nara now. Oh man. All right. Well, with that play, he doesn't mill any cards, and he still gets a ridiculously big li uh, Light Warden. Well, it worked. Yeah, it definitely worked, and uh, it looks bad for Nogori. He doesn't have the War Song, so not really a good way to deal with this. Um, might just even attack him to 7 2 here with the weapon. Get some stuff cheaper, but uh, Priest is at 29. Some minions on board. Not looking good. Mm -hmm. Alright. What do we have here? 
Definitely. Man, it's like every every turn is ridiculous. It's like it's like ten cards in hand with like a million interactions between all of them. It's like impossible to actually guess what they're gonna do. Yeah. Um, what do you think about simple death Belcher go face? Damn. So easy. <laughs> Well, you might be looking for other options, but it seems uh, so simple. And you normally don't have death targets. Mm -hmm. Oh, he chooses to do something else. Okay. Yeah, he just wants bigger creatures on board. He's seeing the Northshire as a liability. Yeah, against Patron, definitely. Starts to make some sense here. Man, these are just so so ridiculous. From uh, Nuguri's side of the board, he's got he's got a death spite now. He's gonna get some more cards. He's got a Gromash. He's got a uh, frothing. So the the damage potential here is pretty extreme. He just needs a few more pieces to really get this working. And um, the thing is, he's gonna have to maybe lose some of it just to stay in the game. That's true. I, I think he's still lacking cards. Like without the Warsong, he will not be able to do much. Mm. Spending Grimash to to kill a Belcher, I guess it's fine. Um, you've seen Gara just trade his minions into, into your Torison, so you might assume there is maybe no BGH and no Sherwood F. I don't know. I don't think you can really assume that he's missing anything at this stage. I mean, he's taken so long, he's making his turns like very meticulously, and there's just so many cards there. Like. If you're the warrior here, you're basically just praying. I think, like, from the warrior's perspective, um, you just don't play around anything. Because mm -hmm. he can have he can have everything, right? So you, you make plays um, ignoring the priest's hand. It's like he has it. All right. He has. All right. Still no war song. He gets some draw, uh, but uh, he's dropping really low here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whirlwind is one of those cards that like he really needed to push for that like crazy combo OTK. But I mean, he's he's just having to use these cards to stay alive. And uh, does he? How much damage is available here? Not oh. enough. Not enough for Gara yet. But uh, Nogori actually. Whoa! Ho -ho. Whoa! Oh man! Please, boys. The Ice Jones is probably seeing the game. Um, if there is a whirlwind, would that do anything? Is there a whirlwind? We, we just saw one. There's um, okay. That's another whirlwind, so he will not be able to unleash all those combos. Uh, he might get a couple of patrons, but yeah, he's one mana short of playing every card there. But he still has to do it. Um, and he does stay alive. And I guess you just try. Yeah, but this is a defensive play, playing not to lose. And, Wait. Uh, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, the Cruel Task is actually better than the Frothing. Very good stuff there. Oh, that's, and... Uh, that's it. Do you have it? Yeah, you yeah. have the two damage hero power from the Akanai. Priest, one or mind control. Ah, go for the mind control. Kill him <laughs> with the Grim Patron. I don't know if you want to show mind control, but it probably doesn't matter at this point. Like people are watching the stream, so Trump is yeah. definitely watching us right now. Hi, Trump. Right. And and in fact, the uh, the mind control was a key component of the uh, missed lethal that Gara had uh, sometime earlier. So it's all over Reddit. People people are clear that there's a mind control in there. Um, I guess I guess maybe Nugori had to pay attention, but it doesn't matter for him, right? Because yeah, priest won. Yeah, he's it's undefeated. The it's priest undefeated. decks cannot be beat, guys. Best deck. Hey, Meta. Best decks. It's probably gonna be priest all over ladder after this tournament for like a I just... days. I just see the the report of this tournament, Priest being the sleeper deck of HTC2. Seems like it, man. All right, well, Gara gets that first point on the board. Uh, Gara's been off to, like, early leads uh, in most of his games, hasn't he? Or was he the first to do that, that big comeback? 
Uh, yeah, improved. I think he was mostly um, starting it really well, and then we were always doubting if he can take the tournament, uh, the match with the flame with mage. Yeah, yeah. It was, flame waker is always the, the weak link, but he had enough chances to actually um, mm -hmm. win, win a bit. Uh, All right, so I guess you put Gera on playing Hunter. I mean, that's what he's done twice now already. So if you're Nagori here, what do you play against uh, Hunter? Gera's playing as Gara's actually playing his own Hunter. Remember, he's playing like a more aggressive uh, Hunter deck than normal. Yeah. I still think we haven't seen all of the tricks that he's bringing. We've seen the Strangle Th Stranglethorn Tiger, mm -hmm. but other than that, I think he has some a pretty exciting stuff. So for Hunter, Nagori, Hunter. yeah, it's Hunter Hunter. Definitely, I would not kill uh, Warlock into that. So I think Hunter is an alright choice. Is it? I feel like the yeah the, the Hunter that's more aggressive tends to win. So um, well, Nogori was playing really aggressively before. Like I even thought he's playing uh, something like a hybrid with mm -hmm. double glaive Zuka. Mm -hmm. Well, again, the game here. Look at that, <laughs> Argent Squire. Well, that's surprising. And then that's Gara. He's bringing those weird cards that uh, sometimes work. Hmm. If you see Argent Squire, what are you thinking about? What is this deck? This deck has two abusive sergeants. It has Argent Squire. With Argent Squire and um, Stranglethorn Tiger, it seems like Gar actually built up a 26 card deck and then he filled automatically. I don't know. He missed it and then he sent it decklist. No, it, it can actually work. Uh, if you assume that there's a lot of Paladin decks, um, if you play some mirror de uh, mirrors as well against Hunters, Argent mm -hmm. Squire can work. Ooh, the Explosive Trap is probably going to rake in a lot of value in this matchup. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, on the other hand, Gara has Hearts and Jones, which is also nice in this matchup if the if the weapon shows up. So this turn can't really kill your own content creeper. So the juggler combo doesn't work this turn at least. No. If you go explosive trap, yeah, I think explosive uh, actually one turn behind on the clock. Uh, that is often the the winning position. Yeah, and uh, Gara is one of the best hunter players. Actually, I've seen him play hunter hunter mirrors and winning eighty percent of the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, you can uh, see it right here. He's doing extremely well. Uh, well, he almost has lethal. <laughs> yeah, it's actually crazy. If he gets a huffer, uh, what happens? That's sixteen. Okay. Yeah. No, it can't be 16. It has to be an odd number. Because it's 8. If he gets a Huffer, it's plus 9. It's 17. If he gets a Huffer and Arcane Golem, then it's... Uh, no, Huffer and Kill Command would be the most. But okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Leoc. Well, Arcane Golem's not bad here, then. Because the Leoc is a low-priority target, and you have the Kill Command Activator anyway. So you could do another 7. Yeah. That's true. Uh, that's a lot of damage, and you just ignore the hymen and go face. What can Nuguri even do? Uh, Lepronome. <laughs> yeah, Lepronome is not helping here. No, not quite. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna have to juggler, uh, juggler kill command the Leoc, and hope that the juggles resulting from the spawned creatures off the high main end up killing the uh, arcane golem. Yeah, that might actually work. And, uh, the only, that's the only thing he can do. And he's not dead. Gara would need one more mana to play the charge, doggy, kill command, and hero power. Okay, so he goes for it. He has a chance to survive. He's still in a bad position. It's 50-50. It's 50-50 to survive here, because it's, it's three chances at two damage. He Perfect. 50-50. Does he survive? Oh. Nope. The RNG okay. gods are not kind, and Gera cleans up once again. That was a pretty impressive deck from Gara. Like I, I definitely didn't expect Argent Squire. And, uh, Squire didn't do much, but it wasn't a liability. It helped him get some aggression. Really, like uh, Gara's. The, the, the reason Gara won is because he played around the traps perfectly. Yeah, unleash the hounds. He kept out unleash the hounds for the freezing trap. He could unleash before. Uh, to spring the explosive, but uh, he, cho he chose not to. Also, definitely, Harrison uh, with the coin, the string, the bow, and drawing him a card was uh, a powerful play on uh, on turn four. 
Yeah. I mean, all, all the plays were good. They're all standard, but I think really the trap plays were, were exceptional. I, I, I would have to agree. Uh, definitely mm -hmm. play. Like, it seems like he knew the traps, right? With Explosive Trap, um, I was assuming that he will just uh, attack face because it's mostly Freezing or Snake. Mm -hmm. But he attacked into the minion just to get a bit more value. And with the Freezing, he instantly just played Unleash the Hounds to, to play around that and uh, attack face. All right. Well, it's 2-0 match point for Gara in this best of five. It's Conquest, so he still has to win with Tempo Mage, and Tempo Mage has stumbled. I don't think Tempo Mage has has won its first try yet. I think it's won its second try and its third try so far in the yeah, game. Yeah, it's mostly losing. So I'll ask you again, Crip. Would you like to be Gara or Nugori? You have this bad Flame Waker deck, or you have three very powerful decks? Ah, uh, man. Well, Gara has been has been doing it so far, so I'm, I'm going to go with the Gara here. Being two points ahead is, is just a really big deal. Yeah, I'm, I will go with Gara as well. But uh, Nugori still has a chance. He just needs mm -hmm. to win three games. Nugori brings out the Warlock first against uh, Gara's Flame Maker Mage here. So what do you think about this? This is, uh, this is Handlock, isn't it? It is Zoo, I believe. Oh, it's Zoo. Oh, it is, it is Zoo. It is Zoo, yeah. Okay. So that's pretty good for the Warlock then. Well, it will depend if, um, you know, with Temple Mage, you never know. If Temple Mage gets yeah. this uh, Dream Opening, uh, Mana Worm into Coin, let's say Gnome, and then you get the good Flame Waker, you have a couple mm -hmm. of hits, it looks good for a Mage, but... Um, wow, that's a good hand. It is a good hand. That is uh, Sorcerer Apprentice with a double taunt on turn two, and on turn three is Sorcerer Apprentice with Mirror Entity. And the crazy thing is that on turn three, is when we'll probably see the Void Terror come down. Yeah. Oh, not anymore. Not anymore. Look at that. It goes for the Imp Gang boss to start. Imp Gang boss is a very important card in this matchup. You want to, um, if there is a Flame Waker and spells, you want to have Imp Gang boss actually trade against stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uncontested for now. It's obviously a possibility of Frostbolt ping, but then you get Imps anyway. It's a great minion in those minion battles. Yeah, I, I think. I think it's not even worth the Frostbolt here. You think it's worth the Frostbolt? Frostbolt the 1-3? Mm. No, the 2-4. The well, definitely you play the 3-2 first, and then you have a yeah. free Frostbolt on... Um... And you play the Mirror for 1. Yeah. It's just what do you do with the Frostbolt? I think you just don't play it this turn. You might, you might just keep it for something better. Um, on the other hand, if you Frostbolt, or just such a bad target for the Frostbolt. <laughs> you Frostbolt, yeah. you, you freeze it, that's cool, but then he gets an Imp, and... Maybe you should actually go for the Frostbolt, because the then you'll Walker. be able to ping the... Uh, no, I think you kill the Voidwalker with the attack, and then you Frostbolt. Because with this, the Imp will not... Um, like imp is only killing one mirror uh, image. You're only losing one mirror image anyway. But then you like you can ping next turn. Um, ping? What are you pinging? You probably ping the gang boss. <laughs> That's with no idea, right? And yeah. man, Frostbolt would have been good to have here. Look at that. He could have done Mana Worm. He could have activated his egg, which you know that thing's getting activated anyway. What I actually about... think here you might consider pinging your own egg. Yeah, you might consider that, but I think you, you will ping the 1-1. One, one, uh, so that then you ping the 1-1 one, one, and then you go 6 phase and you play the mana worm. Because you, you want to keep your... Oh, he's pinging the gang boss actually. You're attacking. This is really risky. But that makes sense as well. It, uh, still, your minions are alive after this. Yeah, it makes it makes a lot of sense. But it's like you're so vulnerable to like everything. <laughs> if there is, uh, yeah, like abuse a sergeant and your minion dies and implosion. Mm -hmm. Gara is out of cards. He only has his Antonidas. Wow! Oh, it's into the one one. Why would you do that instead of going for face? 
I'm not sure. But we really have to credit how good Nagori has played this. He kind of uh, assumed the worst case scenario for the next few turns, didn't play the egg, and it really made it work for him as a result. That is a pretty damn good draw. Yeah, it is. You can deal with the free five, but uh, still, you're not in a great position. No, you're getting there. Slowly. He's an Azure Drake, though. He's he, he's some card draw. Yeah. I think actually a um, Arcane Intellect might be better than Azure Drake because it'll it'll be cheap. It'll be only two mana. It'll buff the Mana Worm, and you can get even more options that you might also be able to play on the same turn. Yeah, that's true. Like, what if you get Arcane Intellect into like Flame Wake or Frostbolt? <laughs> that would be pretty sick. But he has one Frostbolt already. Yeah. By the way, like. I think what Gar is doing is what you definitely don't want to do, which is uh, minion trading against the zoo. Mm -hmm. zoo. Zoo always wins those minion trading battles. What? <laughs> that card sucks. It gives him a spell at least. Like um, a spare part. Mm -hmm. So you ping the owl, you kill the 4-2. And you... Do you kill the 4 2? You just mentioned it's a bad idea to do that. You have to go face, no? Yeah. <laughs> this is a tough spot. Zo has only two cards, but. I mean, Gara plays it really well. It's just uh, it's a bad situation for him that he's forced to trade with Zoo, which is um, just the worst possible idea. But mm -hmm. I don't think going for face is good. I think you still have to continue trading at this point. And just hope that you get an edge with Antonidas. If he gets a stealth spare part, then maybe. Okay. So we get some extra juggles here. Oh, uh oh. This might be bad. It is dangerous. Miss. Uh... <laughs> well played. And there is a stat swap. Well, you can activate your egg. So, um, but this turn... No, that's that's not worth it. Well, you definitely don't spend it now. You, you will spend it on 8. So, this turn you probably have to use Fireball and ping. You can ping your egg and then Fireball something, maybe. Hmm. I think you should Fireball... Okay, so if you have juggler, right? Yeah, if um, you can fireball the juggler because that's the biggest target, assuming there's an implosion or Doctor Boom coming or whatever. But if you if you count that maybe you are not dead to minion attacks in the next three turns, then you might consider fireballing face, so that next turn you play Antonidas, you stop the swap. So this 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 turn basically you ping the egg, fireball face possibly. And then next turn, Antonidas, that's what get a fireball. It just seems a bit optimistic, man. It is optimistic. Yeah. I guess you have to be generally kind of optimistic here. It, it didn't seem like it, but then Doctor Room's gonna come down and you're gonna realize how much help you really need. Doctor Boom mostly seals the game here. Oh, man. Yeah, it was, it was like kind of bad, but oh! Interesting, that was a pretty good draw. But Boom is wow. still killing Adonidas, and you only have one Fireball. And then you're going to spend your fire Fireball to maybe kill Boom and... It is alright though. Better than most. Is it alright? You actually don't accomplish much. With that play you really just have to top deck Flame Strike, which we've seen in the Mulligan stage and in a prior game, so there might be two of them. That's actually right. He is playing Flame Strike. Well, you stole with it and then you bait out the trades. It is definitely better than just um, swapping the stats of something. Because with this, you do um, soak some damage mm -hmm. on the images. I think you just ping and pass. I'll just say that as it happens, so I. I look kind of dumb, but yeah. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Those draws. If it wasn't over, it's over now. Yeah, just slam the Dungard. Um, you can actually tear her first, right? To get the bomb and then... I would, I would tear the Dr. Boom, man. Just get to it. have a super big minion on board. Yeah, because he knows Flame Strike's in here. I mean, if you tear a 1-1 Boom by, it doesn't really accomplish that much. True. It's still bad. I guess, I guess it's good enough. Portal Deathwing. Oh, Deathwing! It's coming. Is it possible? Here we go. One out of 400. Oh, there you Wow. Wait, Tyrion is... Uh... He can still play mirror images. He yeah. actually survives with Tyrion. Okay. Because those guys attack into images. Yeah. Okay, but um, this is a temple mage. So it's not like it's magically going to kill Nogori. What other card was it going to be besides Deathwing or Tyrion? Was like Sunwalker enough? Yeah. Probably. Any Divine Shield taunt Sunwalker or Deathwing was, was required. Sunwalker was not enough? Yeah, because with Sunwalker, you just uh, kill Sunwalker with um, Doomguard and you attack for 10. Oh, wait, no, it was enough with the mirror images, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Oh, double spiders. That's not bad because the card Gar needs to bail himself out here is the Flame Strike, and those cards do pretty well against it. But still, doesn't look that exciting from Nogori's perspective. Yeah. Now Gar has an Ashbringer, ultimate form of mage. All right. What Gar needs here is the other Unstable Portal to actually give him a Deathwing. Yeah, the only out. <laughs> and nope. Okay, so Flame Waker Mage loses again. Um, yep. Not really a, a chance to free out his opponents, but Gara is still in a great position anyway. Yes, he is. 2-1 uh, is a good spot to be in, especially with the deck that with the God Draw you can basically beat anything. Uh, but he's got to beat Hunter. It's a pretty aggressive Hunter, and I think that's actually good for Tempo Mage, because Tempo Mage excels at doing one repetitive damage to different creatures. So I think if Gar is lucky enough to get a decent hand against the Hunter, he can probably take that game. But against the Grim Patron Warrior, it can be a little tougher. Yeah, definitely. I think he has a good chance. Uh, but Nogori is running Glaivzukas as well, and Glaivzukas help to, to deal with those um, two health minions. Mm -hmm. Kind of drops the tempo in his favor. Yeah, you're right yeah. about that. Well, it is going to be Hunter. We will see the uh, Tempo Mage versus mid-range-ish, but more aggressive-ish Hunter. Yep. Makes oh, sense. man. This hand from Gara is just insane. He got the coin. He got uh, Gnome and healed the Flame Waker. I think it, it looks like a dream hand. Like, maybe you're missing a Mana Worm, but... Uh, from Nogori, can he counter that? Like, he is missing a free drop at this moment. Knife Juggler is nice, but... Wow. But I think... Oh my god! Flame yeah. Cannon! This is huge. I think you just... Um... Okay, he likes the Frost Bolt more. Alright. I think you keep the spells for the Flame Waker. Like, you, you mm -hmm. could possibly play the Sorceress, but you don't want to spend the, the coin yet. Okay. Alright, well, the stealth spare part does not work on Flame Waker. It does not work. Um, but here he can go with mirror images, maybe. Um, on the no, other he, hand, he, he can the... just play a stealth uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Sorcerer's Apprentice stealth and pass. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Next turn, he'll have four mana, five mana with the coin. Yeah, he can play like every spell. I kind of like Flame Waker, Coin, Mirror, Images, but uh, then we know Nogori is playing Explosive Trap. Mm -hmm. I like that play as well, actually. That lets you play the Sorcerer Apprentice and the Arcane Intellect and the Stealth on the Sorcerer Apprentice the following turn. And I Actually, I like, I like your play more than mine. I think the uh, Flame Waker, Coin, uh, Mirror, Image is a little better. 
Ooh, Garch is gonna dump some spells here. Okay, so he just uh, values the um, Sorcerer more to have it on board. Uh, probably because he really wants the Arcane Flag next turn for for two. Mm -hmm. We are told this is the Freezing Trap, but we know there's an Explosive. The funny thing is the Freezing will trigger before the Explosive if he kills the uh, Mad Scientist here. That's true. Okay, so another difficult turn, and uh, it's actually surprising to me that how, how difficult those turns are for the Flame Waker Mage uh, in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Some spells and decisions he make he has to make here. That's so many. Like, you gotta go for it, man. You just do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yeah. Just, just do it. Yeah. What hey. is it? Uh, you, you said tomorrow, yesterday. Just do it. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Just do, Just it. do it. That's the way. Gilblin. Hmm. That wasn't a just do it play. <laughs> well, he kind of did it with the Flame Waker. And he missed. Maybe just stealth. Yeah. Don't want to waste the coin here without any play. Alright, so at, le at least he, he hits the Mad Scientist. Mm hmm. Now that Lothab is the easiest Lothab ever seen, ever, from any game. Snap Lothab. Snap Lothab. Um, the funny thing is here, I, I, I think you actually play your Sorcerer Apprentice and return it. You just burn the freeze. Why not? Uh, I think it's good. You have to assume this is exposed and freezing. Like Those are the, the, the secrets you've seen before. I mean, if you were watching the stream in Nagori's last game, you'd know exactly that's the case. And uh, Gar even played against this, and he assumed correctly already, so... What? <laughs> Four mana coin? That was actually a four mana... It was a three mana coin, right? Or four mana coin? It was a four mana coin. Four mana coin. A zero plus five minus one. That was pretty sick coin. Was it? Well, it's the first time in a competitive uh, play that I've seen the coin actually being played for four on purpose. He had some purpose in mind when he did that. I just don't see why the coin play is better than replaying the Sorcerer Apprentice. Because of Explosive Trap. He will want to trigger Explosive Trap this turn. But he could have. Could have just attacked face with the uh... oh freezing explosive and then replay sorcerer. Um, then he loses the the shields. Yeah. Well, now he's not playing around anymore. I don't know, man. This match is so weird. I have no idea. Okay, well the man worm killed the Lothab. That seems pretty good. Stop six damage from happening. Yeah, that that's definitely decent. Uh, so with the sorcerer's apprentice being played, you don't attack face. And uh, just trade your minions in. Uh, well, that minion. I think you, you have to pass at this point. Mm hmm. Yeah, you have to pass. Another high main. All right. Gory's always getting double high main, actually. It's the second time. What? All right. There is still the explosive shot, man, so I don't know. It's so annoying. It's uh, you would love to flame waker and fireball something for insane amount of damage. Well, what if you attack the high main with the three two, and then you fireball the six five? I think that was probably the correct sequence. Wow, that's weird. Okay, so now um, you can kill the 2-2. Now it's like not really worth it to get explosive trapped. <laughs> so you want to like... Yeah, you want to kill the 2-2 with the 2-3 and then like pass or something. It's again a, a weird situation for Gara where he's forced to trade into minions instead of playing the tempo game. So basically Nogori is having tempo over Gara. But uh, if Gara is able to clear all those minions, and uh, right now he's not dead to high main. 
He'll be in a very good spot. <laughs> Explosive trap just blocked him completely. All right. Well, uh, Naguri is able to play literally every card and quick shot. Ten damage to face. Does not quick shot. Yeah, I like hero power. At this point, when you commit to going for face, you want to uh, keep the quick shot for next turn and uh, abuse the hero power. Mm -hmm. And Gara's lock with explosive uh, explosive chop. So. I think you actually kill the Shredder with the uh, Free two. Uh, Sorcerer Apprentice first, and then yeah. play the Mirror Entity. I like it. You have four hits. Mm. Yeah, that's probably the best play. Like, you don't even attack with Gilblin yet. You just need to see where the the pings will land, and you'll be able to play either Lothab or just ping something if you really need to. Uh, that f makes a lot of sense, actually. You attack first, you see what's hap what happens with that. If he plays Lothab now, like... Incoming Doomsayer. No. That was nice. Oh man, Whoa. that was pretty oh. sick, actually. And now he kills the second high main and, uh, and can kill one of the hyenas. He's lost Wow. Him. That's really impressive. And Lotha also blocked the, um, the quick shot. Yeah, but it's still a lot of face damage here. Like, that's seven. Yeah, the next turn he has uh, seven. Seven again. <laughs> well, that's lethal. And there's the explosive that's up. So, really, it's nine. What can Gara really do? Uh, kill the free two. Mm. That would be seven still, nine, yeah. Well, not really anything. Basically, maybe play Dr. Boom. Uh, kill the free two here, play Dr. Boom. No, I think you just... actually have to play Dr. Boom first and then proc the explosive. Hope the hunter has zero damage and try to win next turn. Literally next turn. Yeah, being just one. And uh, you have to hit eight, phase for eight. Uh, that's just five. It's 12. He's 13 yeah. next turn. But he's not going to make it. That quick shot is going to seal the deal, and Nugori is going to even it up here. Kill command top deck. Off the top. Try to show Gara, like, hey, I got lucky. Yeah, that, that tilt factor. He's trying to implement it. Oh, man. Gara seems on face, though. He's really focused on the. He's already thinking about the next match. And uh, Crip, maybe your premonition will actually um, happen here. He is losing with that Flame Waker. It might cost him the, the tournament life. Yeah, it might. Um, I thought the Hunter was a pretty good matchup for the Tempo Mage, but that Explosive Trap was so insane throughout the whole game. It's like that Explosive Trap just held off a ridiculous amount of damage. Um, and now, instead, Gara has to try his luck against the Grim Patron Warrior, which is not going to be an easy thing to do at all. I feel like... Um, you, re you really need the god draw. Like, yeah, you do. You do yeah. need the god draw, and you need warrior, <clears throat> a warrior to not have anything. No no weapons, and just struggling to draw cards while, while you just pummel uh, his face with your mana worms, mm -hmm. buffed to like five frees, and, and then you just win. Uh, if you don't, if the game prolongs to the combo ranges, then you have a lot of minions that are good for patron. And uh, yeah. because you do have to play those minions, patron can't even kill you with the frotting. It's also that most of the removal from the Tempo Mage comes from granular uh, one damage hits, which is what the Warrior deck is comboing off of. Yeah. Well, this will be an interesting game, and the winner will actually advance to the final to play versus Trump. Mm hmm. Okay, well, it looks like Gar has lost. That was quick, Grip. Give him. Give him a chance. He can get something from a stable portal, maybe. Oh. Nope, there is no chance of that. No. I mean, look at this game. It's, it's over. Double. Okay, mad scientist. Mad scientist. That's good. That's a good start. That's, That's a good something. start. Something. Something. That's something. We got something. No god draw, but we're, we are like out of the sewer suddenly. You know. But definitely, I I have to agree. Getting double seven drop, which is the top curve in your deck, 
at the very beginning, where, he, where you're looking for the one drops. Yeah, there's there's two seven drops in the deck, and he's drawn them both. Uh, his last he didn't games. get a coin. It's really good to get a coin as a flame waker. Mm -hmm. The problem with Mad Scientist here is you get a mirror entity, and they probably will have something small that they can play. At this point of the game, it's really easy to play around mirror entity. But on the other hand, Green Patient Warrior is pretty good to play versus mirror entity. There's a lot of ghouls, armor smiths, dusk masters. Well, I mean, the ghoul might be a bonus for the Grim Patient Warrior. It yeah. would be a good thing to give uh, the mage a ghoul. He has the ghoul, but he doesn't have the other cards in place that really capitalize off of it. So being an Ogori here, um, you can't draw for... Uh, well, you can slam your Acolyte. Uh, I mean, Armorsmith. If you're really desperate for the draw. Are you that desperate? You might be. No. I don't think so. You know that Mad Scientist is probably going to fetch a Mirror Entity, and you don't really want to Mirror Entity the other creatures in your hand. So I think the Armor Pass is the play. It's kind of bad to do that against the Tempo Mage, but I, think, I don't know. I think you don't even Armor up. Like, um, probably just Pass was the play. Uh, you want to have a chance to get damage for the Battle Rage. I think you're getting damage against the Tempo Mage. It's just so much incidental hits that's going to drop you past your uh, your armor buffer. But all right, he goes with the Ghoul. I don't hate it. Um, it's just he's going to have to draw to something like the Ghoul to uh, trigger the Mirror Entity. Yeah, Ghoul is not terrible. I'll probably like to just a pass turn and I'll keep the Ghoul for later. Oh man, getting that health with Armorsmith. So now with uh, Battle Rage, he will not be able to draw that many cards. Uh, Frothing is nice though. Uh, but there is a Mirror Entity, so... Hmm. Yeah, nothing is nice right now. This is why having the Ghoul would have been so nice. There is a Mana Worm into Portal. I think that's fine. I mean, you have the Armorsmith, but what's that really going to do? Is he going to execute a Mana Worm? No mana worm into Corsair. No, he's going with a ping. I think not playing the mana worm gives credit for slam. And if he's going to give credit for slam, he's not going to play anything. I think I would like to see the minions. Like you want to have minions to be able to to pressure, especially because you you play lot of next turn. Mm-hmm. I think okay. it's good to play some minions, but I think because he hadn't before the unstable portal, he probably just wasn't planning on doing it at all. To conceal the misplay? No, it's just you want to be consistent with your your, your plays. Like it, it may not necessarily be a misplay. It might think that he might think that this is the way to win the game, and that might be true. Yeah, yeah, I agree there. All right, so love lab drops in five. Uh, pretty strong play. Not much inventor being played into the mirror entity. So, Nugori's hand is getting better and better. It seemed lackluster, but right now when he's uh, getting all the combo parts, Frothing, um, Whirlwind... Basically, Frothing, Whirlwind, and Warsong should be enough to win the game. Yeah, but at the same time, um, that bad start from the Mage is uh, starting to be reversed. Well, he is packing the board, so at this point, Gara cannot play around stuff. Oh, there's the Grim Patron. So he's only missing Torison, but he can draw some cards here. Uh, he can execute something big as well. To just start with a slam. A slam. I think you could actually slam Lothab and then Whirlwind. Oh my god, there's a Torison as well. So now you definitely... Uh, it works for him that he didn't use the Whirlwind. Because he has all the combo pieces. Yeah, but Gara has Dr. Boom. And uh, I have a feeling that Boombot is going to fully kill either the Warsong Commander or the Grim Patron when it's played. And that second frauding. Uh, yeah. Crip, it can be it. Can be it. Uh, Gara needs something because if he doesn't do anything here, he might just die. Unless the boombots kill those rollings. 
Not yeah. anymore. That's a dud. <laughs> that was a full miss. Okay. Well, I guess you could just uh, minimize the number of creatures you have here. I think you have to do that, but... I think dunking in the Mana Worm and the 2-4 might be the play. I like that. If he doesn't, he's dead. Uh, that, that one boom bot is the mystery bot, but other than that... Double Frauding, War Song, it's 6 points uh, of mana, and then you can still Whirlwind. And you mm. can even cheat in one more War Song. So... Warsong Whirlwind will kill the, um, the Corsair, and that's uh, five minions on board, plus uh, four, nine minions, so we get plus nine with one Whirlwind, uh, 18 plus four, 22. I'll just let you keep going. And okay, that's, uh, I think I see 22 points of damage. Uh, Inner Rage. Inner Rage is plus four, so it's 26. Isn't it plus three? Um, there is double throttling. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, um, yeah, green patron is, is alright, I believe. Where is it? Is it more damage than double throttling? Well, double throttling was 26 on my side. Okay. Maybe he's, he's, well, a, let's see. he's a better play. No idea. This is a good situation for Reddit and Harson puzzles. Uh, maybe I miscounted that. Maybe that was actually lethal. Maybe it's not 26. It might, it might be actually 28. Okay. Well, but this Reddit... is lethal, I believe. 69. Oh, no, it's not. It's not lethal. If it's not lethal, it's terrible. <laughs> I think he is kind of surprised, is he? Got a stealth spare part. All right, and this is a five, four, five, nine points of damage. Um, nope, lethal for Gara. Can he? S no, I think it is. I think it is. There's so many spells with the Flame Waker, and you don't care if it hits the Grim Patron because it, it's going to finish it off. It's only at one health. Um, so if you do the Flame Waker plus the uh, Sorcerer Apprentice, that's five mana. The Frost Bolt is six. Uh, you can play the Spare Part for one, and you have two more mana to play the Mirror Entity. Um, I don't know if it's guaranteed lethal, but I think it's close guaranteed. I'm, I'm sure it's not guaranteed, but you can get lethal here. You play free spells, so we have six hits. You have a little minions here. I was going for the safe play. Uh, that's probably right, and and actually, uh, Nugori doesn't have lethal in his hand for now. He misses some mana there. He needs a, an activator. Oh man, Nugor Gara can actually still win. Nugori needs... He needs the top deck here. He basically needs a... yeah, like an activator. A weapon, maybe? Fire Warx does it. Battle Rage, that's... that's Otherwise, he doesn't do it, but he can still... It might, it might, if he has like a whirlwind or something. He can win this game. Ghoul, that is it! That's enough! Yeah, Ghoul is enough. Oh my god, that was actually pretty crazy. And one more minion from Mirror Entity as well. Wow. Oh man, that... Gara's praying. Is... No. Nope. Gara is just... Uh... Crushed. Just crushed. Gara that... is a... Uh, the Tempo Mage is not able to take a game here at all. That ending, Crip, it was amazing actually, with uh, those close lethals and... Yeah, I think uh, I think Nuguri may have had some lethal there, but it was like very complicated, so I've not, I, I couldn't figure it out, so I couldn't, I can't really fault him for that. Um, I think Gara had some form of lethal as well, if he went like all out, uh, but again, I can't really fault him for that, because that wasn't very likely, in fact, I don't think he would have got it. Um, yeah. Crazy, crazy stuff. Gara gets knocked out uh, on the back of uh, Tempo Mage not really performing up to his standards. Uh, we have our finalists. We have Trump versus Nugori. Nugori 
qualifying uh, all the way through the qualifier bracket into the round of 16, past the round of eight, past the semifinals, into the finals against Trump. Not only do we have an HTC player versus a non-HTC player, we have an invited player versus a qualified player. Such a cool that. story for, for Nogari, by the way. Like this guy is playing yeah. on all three regions and he's trying, like he's from South Korea. Uh, he is doing really well in, uh, in the qualifiers. This is his fir first breakout performance. It doesn't matter if he wins or loses versus Trump. I think mm -hmm. he really showed us the skills. Like he's still looking for a team. He's trying to, you know, to enter the pro scene. And uh, this might be his moment. Yeah, we'll have to see how well it goes for him. Um, we will have the final ready for you guys in a few minutes. We will need some time to set up. Uh, in the meantime, in our roughly five minutes break, if you guys want to check out our sponsors, HTC, of course, they're offering 50 bucks off any of their phones. If you want to see the products, if you want to see what this is all about, there's a link in the description for you guys to check out. Anyway, guys, we'll be back shortly. Stick with us. Finals coming right up.